Romans 12. So here's what I want you to do. God helping you. Take your everyday, ordinary life, your sleeping, eating, going to work, and walking around life, and place it before God as an offering. Embracing what God does for you is the best thing you can do for Him. Don't become so well-adjusted to your culture that you fit into it without even thinking. Instead, fix your attention on God. You'll be changed from the inside out, readily recognize what He wants from you, and quickly respond to it. Unlike the culture around you, always dragging you down to its level of immaturity, God brings the best out of you, develops well-formed maturity in you. I'm speaking to you out of deep gratitude for all that God has given to me, and especially as I have responsibilities in relation to you. Living then, as every one of you does, in pure grace, it's important that you not misinterpret yourselves as people who are bringing this godness to God. No, God brings it all to you. The only accurate way to understand ourselves is by what God is and by what He does for us, not by what we are and what we do for Him. In this way, we are like the various parts of a human body. Each part gets its meaning from the body as a whole, not the other way around. The body we're talking about is Christ's body of chosen people. Each of us finds our meaning and function as a part of His body. But as a chopped off finger or cut off toe, we wouldn't amount to much, would we? So, since we find ourselves fashioned into all these excellently formed and marvelously functioning parts in Christ's body, let's just go ahead and be what we were made to be, without enviously or pridefully comparing ourselves with each other, or trying to be something we aren't. Get along with each other, don't be stuck up. Make friends with nobodies, don't be the great somebody. Don't hit back, discover beauty in everyone. If you've got it in you, get along with everybody. Don't insist on getting even. That's not for you to do. I'll do the judging, says God. I'll take care of it. Our scriptures tell us that if you see your enemy hungry, go buy that person lunch. Or if he's thirsty, get him a drink. Your generosity will surprise him with goodness. Don't let evil get the best of you. Get the best of evil by doing good. It's Avery and today I am here with a giveaway for you all. I am excited to share this one with you. It's different. It is not a handmade journal. It is a hand-painted Bible. Um, So I think I'm going to start hand-painting some Bibles and adding those to my Etsy shop as long as my handmade journals. I'm not going to stop that. Um, Now that it's summer, happy summer everyone. If you're not on summer, I am so sorry. But now that it's summer, I am excited to start working on a new journal collection and a hand-painted Bible journal collection, I guess. Uh, But yeah, I'm going to be selling these in my Etsy shop. I want to hand paint journaling Bibles. This one is not a journal Bible. This one is just an ESV um, standard Bible, but when I start painting them for my Etsy shop, it will be a journaling Bible. So to enter the giveaway, all you have to do is be subscribed to me and go head on over to my journaling Instagram and follow that account and leave your YouTube and your Instagram information in the comments down below. So this giveaway will close on June 10th. So you have two weeks to enter this giveaway, plenty of time. Um, I'm just so thankful for all of you and supporting me, especially through this last kind of semester school year. I've been so overwhelmed with school and changes in my life that um, I've just had to slow down and take a step back. But now I feel like I've found a new exciting direction um, when it comes to videos. I'm going to start a website and um, yeah, adding these into my Etsy shop. So I'm excited to get back into things. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, I appreciate all of your kind words and I will see you guys in my next video.